Korean Chamber of Commerce, uh, Commerce and ASEAN delegates on Tuesday visited the Karakatao Posco plant in Chilagon in Bantan province. And the company is a joint venture between Indonesia state-owned steel maker Krakatau Steel and South Korean firm Posco. Its plan is the first integrated steelworks in Southeast Asia. Delegates from ASEAN and Korean Chamber of Commerce visited the Krakatau Posco plant in Cilegon, Banten on Tuesday. Speaking on the event, ASEAN Economic Community Deputy Secretary General Satvinder Singh described the joint venture as a tangible example set to expand Korean investment in ASEAN countries. This joint venture between PT, Krakatau Steel and POSCO is really a very clear and tangible example of how Korean companies could benefit from the cooperation in ASEAN while also facilitating the transfer of technology and also promoting innovation. And at the same time, it is showing that it can create a global value chain with a low carbon footprint. How is it low carbon footprint? Because you're having the mills so close to the sources of critical inputs that go into your production. In addition to that, POSCO plans to increase its production capacity in Indonesia as 50 million tons of steel exported to ASEAN country members every year. Krakatau POSCO is contributing to the industrial development, development of Indonesia and ASEAN as supplying 3 million tons of high quality steel products to various demand in the region such as infrastructure, energy, machinery, and shipbuilding. Krakatau POSCO is the result of a 2022 agreement between POSCO and Indonesian steelmaker Krakatau Steel aimed at increasing steel production in Indonesia for the development of electric vehicles and the new capital Nusantara. Adin Fatoni, Niko Arianto for C Today.